Stacy and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. Janet Jackson feedback on East Coast Radio just before this one. Tyler, water, Stacy and Jay Spoo on a Wednesday. It is time for us to delve into other people's drama. Snare sending through a confession today, telling us she's tired of people copycatting her style, the way she speaks, the way she does things in life in general. And out of that, is it flattery or is it just annoying? Stacey Norman, I feel like you. You have experienced this before in a myriad of ways, whether it is the way that you talk, yes, or the way you dress. Can I have that dress? Where did you get it, please? Next thing you know, the person's wearing it the next day. Then you're like, boom, go. I thought we were just having a conversation. <laughs> uh, you've experienced this before. Um, yes. So Ooh, yeah. I have uh, something called a personality. And as a result of having this personality, I have several stasisms that I like to use. And, and as, as luck would have it, wherever I go, people tend to absorb those things. Yes. Uh, so there's, there's that. Um, and then, yes, there is the obvious stuff like, where did you get that? What's that perfume? I really like this. I really like that. And and I, I've now gotten to a stage in my life, Jay Spoo, where I'm like, you know what? If the girlies want to smell like this, let yeah. them. Okay. If the girlies want to wear these clothes, let them. The thing that I have done, though, yeah. just because life is all about balance, is I am known to buy something and then just leave it in the cupboard for oh, a couple of months. Or even yet. So by the time it makes its debut, and you're asking oh, me, I'm like, this is Woolies, babe. Smart. It's Woolies. It's this, it's out it's of that. stock now, eh? By all means, go and have it, and you're not going to find it. You're and not going to find it. And if people bought it at the same time that you did, it's probably now gone. It's like, they don't even know. But maybe you wouldn't have put it together like that. Yeah, but I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I understand where Snare is coming from. It is something that people um, t- struggle with. Uh, because it, it's like you couldn't because Snea is going into detail here from her majors at university the way that she dresses the way that she speaks where she eats what she likes how she styles her Instagram even down to her home day call she has a particular friend yeah. who wants the same thing so to put it into context it's not always everyone yeah. sometimes there's just one person just that one person in your life it's uh, a friend it's a colleague it's a family member uh, and it's like if, if it weren't for you they would have zero identity and that it can be frustrating okay so okay I understand it right but here's my thing right I think I think if you're gonna go to someone and say hey listen I'm digging your vibes you know next thing you know they are your vibes they are literally you and them are the but same. But you vibe. understand this. There, like, there is, like, there is someone who we know. No, 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 no. Let's, no, no, not, no, even, no. let's not even be like that. Like, there's someone. That, that I've heard rumors, and I, I think this is flattery for me. Like, I've heard that some people are starting to sound like Jay Spoo, and I'm not going to say which radio station, but I've heard that some people. Are, oh, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to so, say there's there's someone who's modeled their entire persona on you, and we affectionately refer to this person as Jay Spoo Light, because it is literally. They a, are me, literally. Even, a, even a down copy, to the hairstyle. A copy and paste. Even down to the car they damn drive. And <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's play Foxy. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Hi, Stacy and Chase Boo. It's Foxy here from Newlands. So copycats. Hmm. I mean, it's very, it's very flattering as well because I mean, you are so posh and you are so the it girl that everybody wants to emulate you and be just like you. So if I was you, chin up and keep moving forward and let the followers follow. Stacy and Chase Boo, East Coast Radio. In Vogue, don't let go on East Coast Radio. Um, Stacey and Jay Spoo here with you until 6 And in this hour on the back of uh, Snare's confession Just wondering why people are copying her Just across the board And is it really that flattering? Is it just annoying? Andy James has shared with us a story of uh, her mother And the mother's neighbor yeah. And how Ooh. her mother started baking Then the neighbor started baking <laughs> Then uh, then the mother started him Andy's mom started making Mom Zodwa started making um, snowballs And they were delicious mm-hmm. And they were selling And then the neighbor neighbor tried as well but then they weren't working so she scrapped that okay. and then she tried a chocolate muffin and the point is this is something that happens across the board everywhere, uh, everywhere. You, you can't stop it people are we're, as 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 people like to say in this industry nothing is new everything is just something that you've already seen reimagined and that's fine to a point but when somebody is carbon copying you across the board it can feel a little like do they know that they're doing it are they aware that they've amalgamated their personality into mine yeah it's it, it can get a little uh, irritating and weird to be honest with you especially if it's like 
exactly the same Not even like a hint of their personality well, or this, their style And this is why Sne is upset So on the line to give their opinion on Sne's dilemma Rue, how are you? How's it? Hi, hi Stacey and Jesu, how are Lekka. you guys? Good Lekka, Lekka. What, what do you make of poor Sne? <laughs> what do you make Look. of this? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think this all just comes with maturity um, Not that she's immature But I think once you're old enough to realize that If a person wants to copy me, great If not, then, I mean, just get over it and move on with life Life is so short, I mean, really If you like my style, you like my taste And you want to copy it, good for you I I don't have time to sit here and worry about What I'm, uh, like, I'm not going to do that Because that person is going to copy me, you know But yeah, I I do understand as well That it can get a bit annoying If it's the same person doing the same thing But I think we shouldn't feed the the greedy monkey <laughs> well well you know what Rue it's actually funny because before Andy shared the story about her mom I was saying that my mom has a best friend yeah. and my mother started tracking this from uh, two three years into their friendship that it actually just got to a stage where she said listen doll <laughs> when I buy a lipstick or a cardigan or a muffin or whatever you know what I'm just going to get you one because <laughs> no, really she just cut out the middleman and did exactly that because they're two very different looking people so yeah. the way that they present these various things is, is different and she was like so it just started getting annoying and now when they kind of move together I'd imagine they're like those uh, scratch and sniff things you used to get in magazines they just like all <laughs> smell like Estee Lauder they all smell like Givenchy you know what I mean it's just they just move like these two terrible twins and, and get on with it because to your point it's like if the girl wants the lipstick let her have the lipstick exactly, Rude, exactly. Thank I you. wish I could be your mom's friend Stacey well Look listen you, eh? you want to copy my uh, Stacey's mom now eh? come on get, get <laughs> in join the family mother. join the family <laughs> Alright, thank you so much, Ru, for that. That was really insightful. A different perspective, to be honest with you. Not not a lot of people would gauge with that perspective because that's not easy. Guys, it's not easy. When you write it down or when you say it out loud, it's cute to ignore that you are being copied. But in reality, there's something in you that says... Now you eating where I'm eating. How dare you come to this restaurant, eh? Uh, so, Kate, as the hour continues, imitation, is it truly the sincerest form of flattery or is it just downright irritating? Takes us hold of Ooh. Beyonce. Ooh, brother, oh. Take it to the floor now. Ooh. Brother, oh. <laughs> <laughs> See how we made that work? Stacey and Jace Woo on a Wednesday. Confession on the back of Snare, complaining about the fact that she feels like she's being copycatted. Is that even a word? No, I mean, it's, it's not, but I... I you the get purpose of the conversation works, Someone yeah. is copycatting her Copying her Every style, every move, every vibe And she finds it annoying So we're asking you Is it a form of flattery? Or do you just find it annoying? Uh, and uh, have you experienced someone copying Your vibes, your style, your moves The way you dress You buy a couch, you buy a couch What's your vibe? Yeah <laughs> And um, as we've gone around the room Turns out no one uh, is exempt from this uh, There's always going to be something Someone hey. Great or small Hey uh, and on the line from Belito to share her story, Miss Susan. Hey. Welcome. How are you, my doll? <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 Can you take a moment for us, just for us, and and, and, and regale us with this copycat story? Please, of yes, please. Yes. You know, I, when I was like 30, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, yeah. my sister and Joel used to go to the same shops and ask what I bought. Oh my word. And then she would go and buy the same. Wait a minute, like go to the store, ask the cashier, hey, what did Suzanne buy? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) That's crazy. That's Uh, almost like serial killer vibe. I know. (laughs) And I ended up taking it back and buying from another shop that she didn't know. Okay, so so Susan, when when you said that this happened, like you know, a, a good few years ago, how long did this behaviour persist? Because I'm guessing it wasn't just her going to the cashier, going, "Listen, what did my sister-in-law purchase? I need the same thing in my size." Look, girl, I had to move to Joburg. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate that. You were like, let, let me go somewhere else. I can't. I did. But he's just not big enough for the two of us. Uh, oh God. Wasn't you, big enough. Suzanne, you know what you should have done, right? Go to the pharmacy. 
tell the guy. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Tell, I know you guys. Tell the doctor Stop. I'm just feeling like I've got stomach cramps, I've got a headache, all of it, all of it, and see what she does. Oh, it wasn't for that Hippocratic oath, oh, if only. But, but no. Susan, did it, did it eventually stop? Did you ever confront her, or you just kind of, as you said, packed your bags and left? Jeez. No, I, I couldn't actually confront her. I didn't want to hurt her. Yeah. Because, you know, we... But uh, I have to say, the older that I'm getting, I, I know who I am. Yeah. And it doesn't bother me that anyone can go and buy and look, try and look like me. Yeah. No one will ever okay. look like me. Wow. They will look themselves, but they will never look like they'll me. They'll never be you. No. I'm, I'm no, sorry. No, they'll Susan, never be me. Well, Susan, you yeah. sound like three kinds of a vibe. I mean, I I might want to find out where you're shopping too. <laughs> I'm inspired by Susan. <laughs> Shout out, Susan. The number one influencer in Belito. Thank you so much, my Susan, have a beautiful night, okay? Thank you, you too, guys. Cheers. Cheers. So I just had a bit of uh, an online uh, search here. Someone is actually comparing this copycat disorder situation to uh, borderline personality disorder, which is the lack of personality, which often leads to you borrowing bits and pieces but that, but, of, of no, but people's look, personality and vibes and styles and everything. I think that we all do that. I mean, there's an what entire an there's an entire uh, like part of the population that can't apparently consume anything unless it's been suggested by an influencer. Yes, yes, yes. And we every second people. person with a ring light considers themselves <laughs> to be an influencer. Ooh. So, no, but it's true. And, and because apparently Attack. that somehow translates into sales. So, you know, do you whatever makes you happy, but if you find that you are more someone else than you are yourself. That's a problem. Hi, it's Heidi. I can't really understand why anybody would want to copy, copy. It just makes no sense. We're all unique anyway. One way to get around it, buy vintage. It's good for the environment and you can tell them where, where you bought it, but the odds are there isn't one. Hi, Ceci and Jace Wolf. It is the most annoying thing in the world when somebody copies almost everything you do. Like, yeah, and I think it's a, a problem with they don't have their own identities. Hey, awesome, Chase Boone, Miss Stacy. It's your girl, Miss Kerry from PMB. Copycatting. Well, I'm very flattered by it, and I think it's a good thing. And you should be impressed with yourself if you are setting trends, making new styles, and making a fashion statement on others. Hello, Stacy and Chase Stacey and Chase Boo. Weekdays 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.